Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you today. We have been working on this 1963 Gottlieb Swing Along pinball machine, which apparently was the first pinball machine to feature swinging targets, which we now call spinners. They had a, a trumpet, a drum, and a saxophone. Check that out. So we've been working on this old game. We had a lady come in who really wants to buy it, but we had to fix it before she can buy it. So uh, we did a video already on this where we went through, checked everything out, cleaned everything, adjusted everything, and then at the end of the video we tried to start it up and play it and it didn't work. But that's typical. That's usually how that goes. But now we've cleaned everything. So we're to the point now where we just need to fix everything. <laughs> so we'll... Uh, We'll uh, see what we can accomplish on that. Now, I made a list while I was going through it of stuff that was suspiciously screwed up. This is our printing company down the road in Gastonia. We always show this just for our English fans, right? Okay, so here's what I found in the game so far, just looking at it, right? So the 115 volt hold relay is disabled. It's missing. They have the, the switches connected so that the black and red wires are always connected and the black and orange wires can never connect, which is what, apparently what the relay would do if it was off. So they've just bent the, bent the uh, switches. So we need to check and see what that does. The brake is missing on the score motor, which is this little metal piece that makes it stop in the correct place every time. So that might be an issue. Uh, the bell grommet is all wobbly, so the bell is kind of hanging in the back, so I need a new bell grommet. And then one of the other bells is missing. So that's what I've found so far. So I've ordered all this stuff, and it's on the way. I also figured out that one of the score reels has a broken piece inside of it. So I also ordered that. So it's coming. It's just hanging behind the game right now. Um... So it's coming. So whenever we plugged it in, it didn't it didn't work right. It did all kinds of crazy stuff. It didn't reset. Um, it uh, it didn't score right. The one point relay locked on. All kinds of crap like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn it back on and see what doesn't happen first, like the resetting, and then we're just going to go through it piece by piece and try to fix it. I've got the schematics. Kind of. I don't have the actual schematics, but I, there was a uh, nice French gentleman on a French website that made a document in French that explains how all of the uh, schematics work. So I'm going to try to use that to fix it. That sounds fun to me. Now, I don't speak French or anything like that. But I think I should be able to figure out. I mean, they're all Latin languages, right? Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in, and then we'll see what happens. And then we'll try to start it, and we'll see what happens. And as we go, we'll write down stuff on this notepad, and then try to suss it out. What do you think about that? Okay, so I plugged it in, and it came up and says tilt. That's interesting. Look, there's a tilt for the second player and a tilt for the first player. Huh. That might be interesting once we get it going to see what the difference in that is. Um, so she's tilted. So let's try to start it, and then I'm probably going to unplug it because it's going to do crazy stuff. So notice the scores. It's at 373 and 4.9 blank. Well, that's a little better. What the? What the? Okay, so the one point relay is stuck. Let's unplug it. If you've got a relay sticking on, you don't want to leave it on. It'll burn that thing up. But you do want to leave it on long enough to figure out what in the world was going on. So you heard a couple things there. This time it reset the relays, which it didn't, uh, I mean the scores, which it didn't do last time. So maybe it's christening itself. Could be, right? Okay, so this, uh, we had two things going on. This was going boo like that. It's a very technical term. 
Oh, right? And then this one wasn't really making any noise, but if you look carefully, it was stuck down. Hell, it's stuck down now. That's interesting. Well, that could be our whole problem. It's stuck. See, this is a regular one. So there's movement, and then it springs back. Well, this one is stuck. That's probably going to be our problem. I've just got a, a, a blade bit or something. So why was this one going... <laughs> it's because the coil was pulled in, but because the one uh, point relay was still stuck on it, it never came back out. So the 0 to 9 unit is connected to, every time you score one point, it turns this. And this is used probably for like random features. So matching and things like that. They may have some lights that move around on the play field or something. But So this one was the one making all the noise. Would make you think that was the problem. That's probably not the problem. It's probably this one. But like I said, see it's stuck. So let me see if I can figure out why that is, and then we'll try it again. Okay, so one of the blades was just bent out of the little uh, actuator or whatever. And uh, when I messed with it, I got it to free back up, turned it back on, and now it's not locking on. But, check this out. If I hit it, it does. So that time it didn't, but look what happened. We advanced one point, so now it's stuck. Did we advance a point? So I think if you look, you see sparks and stuff. I think it's just the switches are not quite happy. So whenever that pulls in, I'm going to have problems with the brightness on this video, folks. You're just going to have to deal with it being too bright or too dark sometimes. <laughs> whenever you score a point, what it does is the switch on the play field pulls in the one point relay. And then the one point relay pulls in the one point score reel. But they have this, they have it wired in such a way that the one point um, relay stays locked on until the one point reel turns all the way around. Now, why would they do that? Because if you hit a point, if you hit something that's one point and you hit it really quick, well, if the ball's only on it for a second, that would barely be enough time for the one point relay to pull in. And then there might not be enough time for the power to flow through that and then the, make the one point reel pull in as well. So they, they set it up so as soon as that one point relay comes in, it stays in until the reel turns around. That way the ball can roll off the one point whatever on the play field uh, and you don't have to worry about it uh, uh, not being on there long enough to score the point. So we're going to test it on the play field here. I, I would imagine these stand-ups here give us one point. That was 10. See, the 10's doing the same thing. Oh, no, it was one. So, if we hit something that's one point, we're having trouble where it doesn't always go all the way around. Which is telling me that it's something either the whatever pin on the one point relay sends the signal isn't sending it or the coil is having trouble pulling in and um, opening up the switch to kill the power to the one point relay. So I'm going to look at those and I'll tell you what I run into. Okay folks, so I looked on the reel and the the um, coil on the reel has a white and gray wire going to it. I mean a white and red wire going to it. And so I looked on the one point relay and sure enough the switch on the back has a white and red wire. And when I looked that switch was gapped a little bit farther apart than the rest. So 
I cleaned it a little better and then I made it where it's a little closer. And now I did that with the power off, restarted it. Seems like we're getting there. So let's see if uh, our pot bumpers do it too. Yes. Okay, so the red one is not always scoring, but that could be, well no, it's not scoring 10 either. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of the one point relay stuck, and then we're going to move along to red pop doesn't always score one point. It may not score 10 points right either, but... We don't know yet. Look, we've got we've got light issues. The play field lights are not on, and the back glass lights are not on. The one player and the play field lights. So what's that all about? One player and play field lights are out. That kind of sounds to me like it might be the score motor. The score motor uh, not having that break on it. Maybe it's not stopping at just the right spot to turn on the lights or something. Or it could be like the game over relay since I didn't get very far and then reset it. Maybe it didn't start up right or something. I don't know. Okay. The green one's also not scoring, but the yellow one is still scoring. Green pop, not scoring one point. If I can read it, people, what's it matter? Okay, purple one. Works fine. So the purple one and the yellow one work fine, but these two don't. I'm wondering if there's a, something going on with the 10 point thing, All right? Okay, so. 10 points, lights yellow. Let's see if we get 10. Well, let's see if we get 10 points. We do. But it didn't light the yellow one. Nothing's lit. So let's see if this rolls over to our 100. It did. It did. All right, so let's see if this one gives us 10. And it should light the green. It does give us 10. 10 and lights the red. 10 and lights the purple. Alright, so all of those stand up 10 point ones are working. That's pretty cool. Um, this should give us 20. Very slick. 30. 50. How sweet it is! 30 <laughs> and 20. Whoa! What? What? Polly! What? What happened? <laughs> what in the world? Let's do it again. Okay, so the 20 is giving us 60 each time. And 40 that time. <laughs> and it's just the left one, the right one doesn't do it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so the 20, well, let's see if the 30 one does it again now. 30 one's fine. Okay, so the 20-point rollovers give you too many points. 20-point rollovers score multiple times. That's an interesting one. 
Why in the world would it do that? Okay, what else do we have? Um, we don't know about the lights and the pop bumpers. That's about it. We've got some other ones here that say certain points when lit and that they will light the swinging targets. Now, we haven't cleaned the play field or anything yet. but So these say 10 points when lit. I wonder if they're one point when not lit. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so none of those are lit yet. So this would light one swinging target. Went do 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 do. Gave me fifty points, I suppose. How y'all doing tonight? Hello. <laughs> so it seems like this one is giving us fifty points. Let's because this must be lit or something. Okay, uh, which means it probably lit up some of these to make them 10 now instead of 1. That one's still 1. That one's still 10, but the bulb isn't lit. And that one's still 1. Okay, so it looks like most of that stuff's working. So we've got, uh, we've got most of our stuff figured out. We need to get the light bulbs back on, figure out what's going on with that. Uh, and then what we wrote down. So, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so first let's see if we can figure out what makes the first player lights come on and why our play field lights are not on. It might just be a loose connection or it might have blew a fuse or something. Okay, so remember earlier it was tilted. So the way the tilt works is there's just this one switch on the tilt relay. And when, but when that switch opens, it kills this relay, which is the 30 volt hold relay. Right? And the 30 volt hold relay has a bunch of switches on it, and one of them is this top one here that I got kind of clean, but I guess it wasn't clean enough because if you mess with that, it gives you all of your lights back. So we got all of our play field lights back, and we got our one player lights back and all of that. So I'm going to turn it off, clean that, see if that gets it a little better, and then we can test some more stuff on the play field uh, that's actually uh, light driven. Okay, so one, I got it back up and running. One of the, I cleaned the switch and everything. One of the interesting things about this machine is that uh, this was from the era where they just kind of held over bonuses and stuff. So there's certain things like lighting up the pop bumpers that it just stays like that until it resets. So some of the stuff, like so right now everything's lit up. I think it's just because we got such a good look. 100 points and resets targets when lit. I think it's something like that. I think it's just holding over from game to game. Uh, but all of these pop bumpers are lit now, so now we can actually see if they're doing their 10 points like they should. That one is. The red one is not. The green one is not, the purple one is. Okay, look, I turned off that. I wonder if that's just a, that's just a loose bulb. Okay, so the red and green ones do not work. One point or 10 point. So they're definitely, definitely messed up. Okay, so uh, maybe we fix that first. Just, we'll do them, try to do them a little more in order. So let's check out what's going on with the red and green pop bumpers. It's pretty simple the way they work. So here's one of the working pop bumpers. This is the purple one. And as you can see, there is a little spoon looking thing. This is going to be hard to show you because it's buried down in there. But there's a little spoon thing and whenever I hit the skirt, this is going to pop by the way, so get ready. So what's going on is the spoon, that switch is connecting, which is turning on the relay for it. So there's a relay down here. That is the purple pop bumper relay. All right. The relay is making it score and it's making the coil come in. When the coil comes in, it pulls this down which on the top 
knocks the ball off of the skirt, which since the ball's off the skirt, that switch is no longer connected. And this uh, switch here kill opens up when it's all the way down and kills the power to the relay, which kills the power to the coil. What a clever way to do it, right? So on each relay, there are three little switches. One of them turns on the coil. One of them scores, and I don't know what the other one does. What do you think the other one does? But whenever this pulls in, that's what makes everything happen. So, And so that is turning on the purple one, that's turning the score motor. So, I mean, the score reel. So the green one and the red one, I'm guessing it's just a misadjusted switch or something. Oh, I see exactly what it is. So on the green one, see that the blue and white wire? It's not connected. If it's not soldered to the switch, it can't work. So that's that one. Now on this red one, On this red one, which is the other one that doesn't work, look at that outside switch. Damn, if I can get to it so you can see it. Look at this last switch. It's not quite touching, so that's the problem. So I need to adjust that one a little tighter, and that one I need to solder back on. So let me do that, and then we'll check the, we'll check the pop bumpers again. Okay, so we want to see if our pop bumper score. Yellow, red, green, boy I like this, purple. I believe our pop bumpers are fine people. I believe they're just fine. This uh, 100 points resets targets when lit light was on a second ago. I wonder what, what makes that happen. Maybe it was something. Yeah, look, every once in a while it comes on. Let's do it to it. Ball two. Still player one. All of our targets reset. Huh, interesting. Okay. So 10 points, lights green. I think the green bulb is a little. Yeah. 10 points lights yellow, 10 points lights red, 10 points lights purple. Okay, so all that's good. 50 points when lit. It didn't like it, but maybe just because a ball hadn't been thrown in a while. 50 points when lit. I think we're bringing it back to life. It's christening itself. Green one, 50 points when lit. Work good. Red one, 50 points when lit. Work good. Can we give it? Can we give a uh, shout out to 1963 with the green insert, the yellow insert, the purple insert, and the red insert? Wow! What a beautiful game. We'll do a whole video at the end where we play it and show it off and everything. Okay, uh, I don't see anything that's not working. 10 points when lit on the kickers. That's working. Um, oh, 10 points when lit on the center spinner. Mm, that's working, but... That score reel is a little screwed up. Watch this, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go crazy on the spinner. It's just, it's working, but it's kind of hanging, so we might need to mess with that a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's see what else is on our list. The red pop bumper doesn't always score. We fix that. The green pop bumper not scoring. We fix that. The one player and the play field lights being out. We fix that. Uh, this is stuff that we were waiting on parts for. 
uh, score reel parts broken. Yeah, we're waiting on parts for that. Okay, so the only other one that was significant, I thought, was the 20 point rollovers at the top score multiple times. Let's see if it's still doing that now that I've turned it on and off 10 times. So it was this one mainly. <laughs> there we go. So it's hanging. What is that all about? Let's see if we can figure that one out. Okay, folks, so with the play filled up, there is a 20 point relay, which is this U relay. Now, when I hit this switch, the switch lets go, it doesn't hang. So the switch, is, the switch only connects once. And what that switch does, the 20 point switch, is it, it makes the 20 point relay come on, the U relay. Now watch what happens with that. That relay will come on, which then turns on the score motor and gets the score motor turning. So why do they do that? It's because there's a switch somewhere on the score motor that the score motor turns in thirds, okay? So it will turn one third and then stop, one third and then stop, one third and then stop. So what's going on is it's turning one third and there's a switch somewhere that there are two uh, bars or two uh, steps on each third of the score motor. So maybe it's like this switch, right? So it turns one third and this switch has a little bar on it like this that will go boom, boom. It'll hit two little bumps from here to there. And since they have the, the 20 point relay wired in um, series with that switch, it'll hit the 10 point relay twice. Boom, boom, right? But what's happening is it's turning a third and then it keeps turning another third and another third and another third and another third. And no matter, depending on how many it turns, it uh, it's giving you 20 points each time for each third that it turns. So I'll do it a couple times so you can see what I'm talking about. So this switch cannot be the problem because you hit it and it's done. It, it opens back up. But the whole purpose of that switch is to turn on this U relay. So watch what happens when I hit it. Sometimes it does, and, and it's doing it sometimes and then changing, and so we'll, we might have to do it a few times. So that time it worked perfect. So it went, it turned on the U relay, which turned on the score motor, which you heard, and then it went click, click, gave us 20 points, and then stopped. All right, so that time it gave us 60 points. Did you see what happened? It gave us two points, and then it almost let go. But then it pulled in again and gave us another 20 points and another 20 points. So why is that? What's it doing? It's because there is a switch on this motor that when it turns two revolutions that is supposed to open up to kill the power to that relay. That's what's going to happen. Now there is a little motor switch position chart here which will tell us where that switch is. I don't know if I can read it and show you at the same time. but. We're looking for anything that says 20 points. Um, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Uh, it doesn't say it. Hmm. I'll have to figure out which one it is. I'm sure it, it's one of those, it's just I don't know, uh, it's the U relay. Hmm, let me look on my schematics and see if I can figure it out from that, which switch it must be. Alright, so I'm looking on my French schematics here. <laughs> and this is what turns on the 20 point relay. I mean this is the 20 point relay. Okay, and the way it gets power is you roll over one of the two 20 point rollovers. But like I said, that switch opens back up. This stays on and then whenever it gets to a certain spot, you see it open for just a second and then it clamps right back down. Right? So the way that it's, once these, once you roll over the, the thing, it pulls it in, but then the thing pulls in a switch on itself, right? So there's a switch on the U relay, 
that keeps it pulled in through motor 2B. Now, I don't speak French, but I'll bet that means motor. Boy, I bet you anything that means motor in French. So on the on the motor switch 2B is holding in U. So what's going on is this relay is pulling in, the motor starts turning. Well, there's supposed to be a, a point where this switch opens, and when that switch opens, uh, it will no longer be providing power to the U relay through this switch, which means the U relay will turn off, which will turn off this switch. And then the score motor will close this switch again, but it won't matter because that switch is now open. And they do it like that so that the, like, like I said on the score reel, so that it holds in while the score motor is doing the complete two revolutions and so that it scores 20 points, but only the 20 points. So this should release. It's not releasing. But here's the tricky thing. Is it that switch on the relay that's getting stuck? So if it's, if it's adjusted too tight, what could happen is, as it loses power, it starts opening, but then it gets power back through it as soon as this closes again, because that switch isn't all the way open. You see what I'm saying? So if this opens, this starts to close, and you see it start to close, but this switch isn't all the way open yet, it's still closed. So whenever this switch closes again, boop, throws power back through it, kicks it back on. So, it could be doing it if it's that switch or that switch. Which one is it? Well, it has to be that one. Because if it was this one, it would also be screwing up the 30-point relay, which, remember, we specifically checked, and it didn't do it. And it would also be screwing up the, screwing up the 50-point relay. And remember, we checked, it didn't do it. It only does it on the 20-point relay, and it does it on either one of the rollovers. So, it can't be either one of these switches. And it can't be that switch because it would mess up these as well. It must be that switch. So if you looked at that uh, switch on the right there with the yellow wire going to it, that is the one that we were talking about. And it is very close. It's adjusted too tight. So I'm going to separate it out a little bit more, make it look a little more like this one, and then we'll check it and see if that's good enough. All right, folks, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. Perfect. 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 Let's check the other one just to make sure. Perfect. 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 Let's do the 30. So see, it's the X one behind it. You'll hear it do it three times. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So how did they make that do 30? Well, they put it on a different switch on the score motor that hits three times for every third. <laughs> so watch. I'll, I'll hit the 20 again. Watch when it turns. It'll turn one third. And then it stops. One third and it stops on the 30. One third and it stops. Okay. Now here's the cooker on the 50. One third and it stops. But it's on. Guess how they made it work? They ran it through a switch that hits five times each third. Right? Very cool. So, uh, yeah, that should have fixed it. So let's we'll test play it for a second, and then we've still got to wait for those parts. Okay, so we're on ball three. I have 1,828 points. Boy, I got it going on. Because um, I'm playing without the glass on. This is one of the old ones with the ball elevator. <laughs> and then the shooter rod is on the actual lockdown bar, which we don't have on it right now. So, we'll see if it scores anything on its own, though. It's hard to play one-handed, people. Went to ball four. I didn't even get a, I didn't even get a chance. Ball five. Didn't even get a chance at a flipping. That didn't work either. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Right, how you doing? doing good. Okay, folks, so that does that. I'm gonna write down the ten point 
real sticks on the one player because remember I was doing that weird thing where the spinners don't score all that great on the 10 point and then um, second player reels we don't know about yet so I got we got to mess with the score reels some more but we're waiting on the parts for the score reels so we'll show you about how that works the bell's missing, we've got to replace the grommet in the one of them, the brake is missing, uh, and then this part up here isn't that big of a deal. Uh, so that should do it for tonight, but whenever we get those parts in, we'll do another video showing all of that. So hope you enjoyed it. What a beautiful little game, really. Leave your comments below, give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you, and thank you to everybody that's been using our Amazon links, especially right here before Christmas. That's so cool. People are buying all of their Christmas presents on Amazon and using our link, and we're getting a little piece of the money of it. So thank you for everybody that's been doing that. If you don't know how to do that, you just click the link down below, and it takes you to Amazon, and it gives us a royalty for anything you decide to buy while you're on Amazon. Thank you to everybody. And check out my brother Donnie. That's our brother channel. He's been raising all kinds of hell lately. So <laughs> we've been working on this old grocery store that we bought. A little tiny one, though. Not a big one. We're not rich like that. We're just rich enough to buy a small one. A little tiny grocery store. So uh, go check that out. I'm over there with them. Usually the link is down below. And I will see you on those videos. And I'll see you on the next Swing Along video. Which will probably be up tomorrow. So come back and check it out. Um, so yeah. Leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll get the parts in. Way before you have to wait on the video. And we'll have it uploaded for you. Uh, uh, I'll do the waiting. You won't have to wait. So see you, see you soon on the next, the next video.